Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this week, our 350Z is gonna get the craziest exhaust that you've seen on one of these cars for a long time. So stick around to the end to see that finished result. So in this video, we're gonna be replacing the catalytic converters for DCATs. And because we've already got a three inch Cobra on this, we're gonna actually not bother changing the rest of the system, but just go crazy with these tips and do something that's never been done on one of these before. So Matt, what do you think is gonna happen when we're working on this DCAT? Right, 99% sure. Give us your diagnosis. 99% sure that at least one bolt will snap. I, don't, I, I think you've not got faith, mate. Actually, do you know, looking at the mileage, looking at the mileage of the car, it actually ain't that bad under here, but it, it's so rusty. Well, I think these ones are gonna be all right. They, they won't be that bad. I think we'll get the Lambo out okay. It's up here, I think we're gonna struggle. Is there three bolts up there? Three, yeah. Uh, Two will snap. Thanks. <laughs> there we go. So as you can tell, Matt did not have faith in the 350Z uh, for this job, but our mission statement today is to add some noise, give it a bit more volume, add some texture in terms of pops and burbles, and also potentially an odd little flame. So there was five bolts to remove on each side, three up by the headers and two down the bottom and also a lamber sensor in each cat. Now the two down the bottom, nice and easy to access, but the three at the top by the headers, they were very, very tight. There was also these little brace brackets too. Now these on the cats are completely rusted, so we decided just to chop these off later. Now we were trying to access these super tricky bolts up the top by the headers and Liam had made up a right contraption of wobbly joints and also extensions uh, but we decided this wasn't the best way to do it so we found it much easier to go in through the top. And once these bolts were off, Liam could not contain his excitement. So next up was the underbody brace which kind of holds the two cats on. We took this off the car so then we could cut the brace off and refit it with the new ones. And at this point Matt thought this was super dangerous so he decided to spray a fire extinguisher straight down Liam's throat. <laughs> Juice fire extinguishers. <laughs> <laughs> now the brace was off, we could refit that to the car, but before we could attach the new decats, there was one more job. Matt, what what is it I've got to do? Uh, you've got to start up with no exhaust on it on YouTube. Okay, let's get professional. Liam, hit the button. <laughs> is your map sensor on the uh, air button? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Oh my god! What? <laughs> that is straight up. <laughs> Jesus! That was so, <laughs> so this job definitely was a late one. We started at about 8 p.m. and went until the early hours of the morning. But this was one of those evenings where it reminds you why you're into cars. It was like super enjoyable to work with my mates, cocking around on my car, doing something which isn't that important, but it's a nice little project for you all to work on together and it really does bring people together. It's one of the beautiful things about this passion. That'll never go in. It won't go. Is it in? Hey, there we go, baby. That'll I never go in. <laughs> Look how pissed it is. <laughs> so I've really got to give a massive shout out to Liam for giving us a hand and Matt for being a general nuisance and lending his ramp and unit. But with Liam's seal of approval, that was the job done. The decats were on and we could get the car back on the floor. The final thing for this was just reassembling the bits in the engine bay, but there was a small little hiccup with what was under the bonnet. Well, I 
So that's one of the Okay, that's us all done for the night. Time check. Yeah, yeah, after the, the graft is real. Yeah, Look, just beautiful. The graft is real. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've now got the decats fitted to the 350Z. Next up, I want to do some of the tailpipes. So we've come to Papa Crouch's pipes, let's put it up on the ramp, let's take a look at what we're going to do. Okay, so I've had to voice over this clip because the audio went a bit messed up in the filming, but we've got the decats that we fitted two minutes ago there. Coming down from this clamp is our three inch Cobra exhaust, which goes through a resonator here, into the back box here, and then out of these tips here, which are what we want to change now. The exhaust sounds spot on as it is, but these tips are just rusty, horrible. They keep dropping down, held in with some dodgy clamps, and they just need changing. So let's go mad with it. Life goes up and it goes down. Now this is where things get a little bit wavy and a little bit different. I'm a great believer in doing things differently and being a little bit daring. And we're about to do something which I can guarantee has not been done like this on one of these cars. So we had a few options in tailpipe design, uh, which I had a nice little sketch up of here, and this convinced me that we were going to go for this particular option. My drawing is not very accurate to the end result. So Crouchy is an absolute legend, he is an awesome fabricator, I'm going to be honest with you, he has done some work on our 1.8 turbo converted, say it's a Rosa, putting a 3 inch exhaust on it in a space where it should have been impossible to fit, fabricating seats in and tidying up lots of our shabby work. And if you are local to Leicester, I'm going to leave a link to his Instagram in the description, please go and check him out if you need some fabrication work doing, honestly this guy is a magician. And also as well, he very kindly let me have a crack at cutting a few pipes and it didn't turn out too well, I thought I'd best leave it to him. <laughs> so the next thing that I wanted to do is try and tidy up the back box on this car. This is a stainless steel exhaust but you'd never tell by the state of it. It's obviously quite old but it is a Cobra exhaust and I know it cost £750 when it was new because I've still got the receipt which was given to me with the car so it was time to see what we could do with that. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up How much better is that looking? Because this is going to be much more visible with what we're doing to the car I thought it was quite an important job to do Now we do also have a crack behind the resonator in the centre pipe Which Crouchy also very kindly welded up properly for us too Whoa. But I'm not gonna wake up Now I think this is where we will start pissing off the purists. The new exhaust design means that we want it to be as visible as possible and this section of the bumper really was ruining that so chopping that away is going to really show off all of the craftsmanship that's gone into this. And the next thing was the tips. We wanted to do something custom so using a 4 inch bend Crouch just cut across it on a slant which creates this really cool teardrop effect. So with a drift day fast approaching, we were working to a tight deadline to make sure this was done just in time. Seconds turn into minutes, minutes into hours and hours into days. We measured, cut and welded time and time again with that cut off getting closer and closer until finally it was done. Now, I have never felt so bad for anything in my life, but while this exhaust looked absolutely sick on the bench, I just did not like the way that it sat on the car or you know, the aesthetic of it on the car, so I felt so bad having to call Crouchy back up and ask him to undo all of the hard work that he'd put into this, but we put it back on the ramp, removed it from the car, and started chopping it up to go back to something a bit more conventional. Crouchy dealt with this like an absolute gent. I think he could see how sorry I was for all of his hard work that went into this exhaust going to waste, but he then kindly fabricated me some more traditional style tips out of what we pulled off the car.
So unfortunately, not every single idea goes 100% to plan. And I don't quite think that style of exhaust really quite worked on this car. So maybe that's the reason why people haven't done it. So what we've done is put two more normal style tips back on the car, which Crouch has made back up for us out of the old exhaust. But one point I do want to make clear is this was not down to Crouch's craftsmanship or work. This was down to my design and what I thought I wanted. It turns out I didn't want. So I'm sorry about that, Crouch. That's my fault, my bad. But I suppose that's just one of those things. You can't really hate a man for trying. You know, we did, we did our best. But that's all for this video. Make sure you smash on the subscribe button, smash a like on the video, and we'll catch you next time.